So Lisa, what's your top tip for working with or managing to correct redness? Well, the first thing I do with redness is I'm really, really careful with the skin. So if I'm doing like a facial massage or anything like that, I'm ever so gentle because that's the first thing I like to do. Secondly, I'm really careful about the products I use. So I don't want to use anything perfumed or with alcohol. And then in terms of the makeup, I, it depends how, how much redness there is. So I always like to start with, I'm not really one for a green corrector, like I don't use them personally. I think they can work, but I'm more likely to do a light layer of color all over, foundation, whatever. And then I kind of mix my concealers. So I'll do like in certain areas, I'll do a concealer, which is more on the olive or green side. Not that you'll notice it, but it'll just be subtly different. So I tend to do most of the redness co correction as the last layer, so if that makes sense. A bit back to front from maybe what other people do, I don't know. 